This is the original Prusa MK4, and Prusa says it delivers always perfect first layers and top-tier reliability out of the box. But after weeks of printing, I found there is more than meets the spec sheet, some trade-offs you won't see in the marketing picks. In this video, I'm going to walk you through the real experience, what works, what doesn't, and whether this thing is actually worth your hard-earned cash. Original Prusa MK4 Printer Product Overview So what are we talking about? The original Prusa MK4 is the latest i3-style FDM printer from Prusa Research, launched in early to mid-2023. It's the spiritual successor to the wildly popular MK3 series and is marketed toward makers, hobbyists, small shops, anyone who wants serious reliability without chasing dozens of mods. Its key selling point? A smarter bed leveling system, a new extruder design, more advanced firmware with input shaping, pressure advance, and the promise that your first layer just works. Original Prusa MK4 Printer Performance Okay, specs are fun, but how does it feel when you hit print? Over the course of multiple test prints, from mechanical parts to decorative models, I found the MK4 to be a dependable workhorse. Right out of the box, yes, fully assembled, it boots, runs a self-diagnostic, and then lets you print a test file. One of the first things I noticed, the first layer has a level of consistency I haven't seen in many printers at this price point. A review in Make Magazine noted it even probes only the section of the bed that your model will use. That means less time spent leveling whole beds and more focus on your actual model. Print quality? Solid. I pushed PLA, PETG, and TPU through it. Layers are clean, bridging is decent, and with firmware tweaks enabled, input shaping and pressure advance, print times and artifact control improve dramatically. As Tom's Hardware points out, input shaping and those firmware enhancements arrived a bit later than launch, but now they're baked in for newer units. Features and Tech Let's dive into three standout features and why you should care. Load cell-based first layer automatic bed leveling. This isn't your grandfather's nine-point leveling. The MK4 uses a load cell sensor to detect the nozzle's pressure on the bed, aiming to deliver a perfect first layer without manual tweaking. That's a big deal. First layer errors cause more failed prints than any other factor. New Nextruder, extruder design. Prusa upgraded the filament drive path, torque, gearing, to improve grip and reduce slippage. Coupled with a modular hot end, it's easier to service or swap parts down the line. All 3D noted that the MK4 is more forgiving and has fewer failures than earlier models. Firmware and motion enhancements, input shaping, pressure advance. At launch, some features like input shaping weren't fully available, but Prusa rolled them out later. Input shaping helps suppress ringing by compensating for vibrations, so your tall, skinny parts don't suffer ghosting artifacts. Pressure Advance optimizes flow transitions. Together, these give you the kind of polish you expect from premium machines. Design and Build Aesthetically, it looks like a grown-up Prusa. Black and orange accents, recognizable i3 silhouette, but the internals are much beefier. The frame is a powder-coated die-cast alloy element, stronger, stable, and the print bed carriage and body parts use a mix of injection-molded components and carbon fiber blended printed parts. The LCD interface is upgraded with previews and a sharper interface, though some users say thumbnail rendering can lag a little bit. The overall build feels solid, nothing rattles or flexes under normal operation. It's not going to win awards for a showroom shelf piece, but in your workshop or lab, it just blends in as a serious tool. The only real design caveat, being a bed slinger or Cartesian design, it has a moving print bed. That limits how fast you can push it versus Core XY models. Pros. Fantastic first layer reliability thanks to load cell leveling. Excellent print quality out of the box with firmware enhancements. Solid build quality, modular design, upgrade path. Strong ecosystem and support from Prusa. Cons. Some reported quality inconsistencies, clogs, filament issues. Not the fastest machine due to the bed slinger design. Price is steep compared to many Chinese alternatives. Final verdict. So who is this for? The original Prusa MK4 is for the maker, shop owner, or serious hobbyist who wants a machine that just works, 
not one you spend your weekends tweaking. If you've been through budget printers, worked around fail prints, or wanted a more reliable set and forget machine, this is a strong upgrade. If you're strictly chasing speed or want a Core X,